सो गाइज फाइनली वी हैव लॉन्च आवर न्यू कोर्स ऑन जावा डी एस ए प्लस सिस्टम डिजाइन प्लस बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट विद स्प्रिंग बूट इन जावा येस सो दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इन डिमांड कोर्स ऑन आर वेबसाइट फॉर द लास्ट ऑलमोस्ट एट मंथ्स आई हैव रन टू बैक एंड कोहर्ट्स विच आर मेनली फोकसिंग ऑन नोट जे एस एंड बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट विद नोट जे एस एंड वी रिसीव द ट्रिमेंडस फीडबैक फॉर दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली चेक द फीडबैक आई पोस्ट इट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो राइट and a lot of students were asking that can we put some content around java backend along with java dsa and if we can add some system design that will be super cool right and here it is so we are launching one complete pack where you are going to learn java from the very scratch we are going to talk about data structures and algorithms in java we are also going to talk about system design including low level design and high level design we are going to talk about spring boot using which we are going to prepare some backend apis and applications using java right so this is going to be for someone who is like absolutely beginner in programming or even if you are someone who is kind of like intermediate you maybe know some language and you are already doing dsa in that or maybe you are already aware about some other backend technology but now you want to learn backend with java this course is going to be a must have for you This is going to be a power pack course with an extremely low price, right? I'll first of all go through the course content that what all we are going to cover, and then we are going to talk about the remaining stuff. What are all the add-ons that we are going to get in the course? So we are technically going to start with core Java because we want to make sure that your fundamentals are as strong as possible. We are not going to assume that you already know Java or you know already know a lot of things in programming. We are going to help you to get started with programming from the very scratch. We're going to talk about very simple concepts like variables, comments, conditionals, loops, and functions. All of these things we are going to talk about in the basic core Java. We are going to help you to try to understand a very simple to very complex Java code. We are going to give you tons and tons of debugging exercises so that you can ensure that your grip on the Java language is as good as possible. Then we are going to talk about basic data structures in Java. For example, arrays, multi-dimensional arrays. array lists stacks queues linked list all of these basic data structures we are going to code first of all ourselves then we are also going to see that in the java collection library what is the internal implementation of all of these data structures that is also something that we are going to talk about then we are going to move to advanced data structures where we will talk about things like binary trees binary search trees hash maps and tree maps heaps which will be uh, the implementation used for priority queue tries and binary tries we will also talk about segment trees and we will talk about graphs implementation of graphs right all of this we are going to do in advanced data structures so starting from extremely simple java code of basic for loops and patterns we are going to bring you to the level of advanced data structures like these as well and not just that we are also going to discuss a lot of algorithms like sorting algorithms like bubble sort selection sort insertion sort merge sort quick sort we are also going to talk about counting sort we are also going to talk about heap sort right we will also see some searching algorithms like linear search binary search ternary search all of these searching algorithms we are going to discuss and even in binary search we are going to talk about a lot of techniques for example binary search on normal arrays binary search on real numbers binary search on minimax problems and binary search on answer all of these things are also we are going to talk about right we'll talk about recursion and backtracking we'll talk about greedy algorithms because these three topics i believe prepare the biggest fundamental part for your algorithmic journey up ahead we'll talk about dynamic programming we'll see all the major patterns of dynamic programming in 1d 2d and multi dimensional dp we'll talk about graph algorithms we'll see shortest path algorithms like dijkstra's bfs dfs union find dsu we are going to cover disjoint set union we are going to talk about minimum spanning trees topological sorting and problems with all of these algorithms from websites like spodge code forces lead code etc and this particular part where we are going to talk about all the data structures and algorithms and core java is going to prepare you with the strongest foundations possible in programming post this you can even start doing if you want a bit of competitive programming because you know a lot of people do competitive using java as well right so you'll be definitely ready to go for that post this we are going to start about some of the computer science fundamentals like computer networks we'll talk about osi and tcp layers http how ip and subnet masking works 
torrent how torrent works you must have used torrent but internally how does it work we'll talk about dns how dns queries work and how internally DS, dns is already implemented we'll talk about that we'll see databases basics of databases sequels and mysql queries we'll talk about advanced sql queries that can help you to even write pl sql for example triggers stored procedures all of these things we are going to see and we are going to talk about how you can actually start designing a database as well then comes the system design part the most awaited part where we will be having separate sections on low level design and high level design in low level design we are going to see different design patterns which will be categorized into three creational structure and behavioral we'll be having different design patterns covered throughout the course like single turn pattern builder pattern factory pattern strategy pattern all of these important patterns we are going to talk about and all of these are going to lie in the categories for these three patterns right post that we are going to discuss about high level design first of all we'll start with common terminologies in high level design for example scalability availability maintainability we'll talk about vertical and horizontal scaling we'll talk about caching sharding we'll talk about cap theorem and then we will try to actually do high level designing that is asked in a lot of interviews uh, even with freshers for example if you give an interview for some a company like bloomberg you might be asked a question around that so we will be talking about high level design of designing an uber designing url shortener designing hotstar like streaming application logging and monitoring all of this we are going to talk about and then the most awaited spring boot and back end with spring boot we'll talk about how you can set up spring boot what's the overall architecture that spring boot supports we'll talk about spring mvc we'll talk about timely we'll we'll see that how you can actually connect your spring boot application with databases we'll see ORMs like Hive, Hibernate, all of these things we are going to discuss. We are also going to talk about how you can set up authentication and authorization using JWT. We will see the deployment of your Spring Boot applications on AWS and we will also do unit testing using either JUnit or Mockito because it doesn't matter which company you join, you will be asked to write a unit test for every single piece of code that you are actually writing. So we will talk about what is the philosophy of writing a unit test and post this you will be able to write unit test in most probably any language we will try to cover that and the projects that we are going to build in this whole course it's not like the, the course is without any projects there will be different levels of projects that we are going to do for example when we will be learning our core java and dsa will make a number guessing console application then we are going to prepare a hospital management system like structure while learning spring we will be preparing an e-commerce application a crm application and a basic crud application kind of like a blog app kind of a thing we will also use the swing framework to prepare desktop applications i'll help you to prepare tic-tac-toe like desktop applications as well so all of these projects we are going to actually cover throughout the course and you can see it's a power packed course we have made sure that we don't lose on any particular content and if you see the feedbacks of the previous batches the main USP is the high level quality of the content and the in-depth content that we actually provide. So this is going to be a hybrid course because all of this content you won't be able to consume directly in live lectures, right? You are not able to always show up in live lectures because you have exams or you have, let's say, if you are working in a company, you have, let's say, review cycles and everything. So we do understand that this is going to be a 50 to 50 percent uh, hybrid course where some part, 50 percent part is going to be coming live, 50 percent part is going to come in be coming in the recorded form so that you can keep on consuming as per your time availability and you can see we have to cover a lot of content so we also need some breathing space there this course uh, is going to have teaching assistant support so you will be added to a dedicated discord server where there will be teaching assistants who will be actually helping you along with the instructors in your corresponding doubts who will be the instructor for the course so Ria along with me both of us are going to lead the course right Ria is has already taught more than 10,000 students in different companies, right? She is currently uh, working with Microsoft and has got good amount of experience developing things with Java. I already work at Google. Prior to this, I worked with LinkedIn where I was working with a Java-based backend only. Here also I'm working with a Java-based backend. So we bring in the industry experience that is required in order to actually understand Java. And whatever things we are going to learn, we are going to see it with an application-based perspective. For example, learning if-else can be what is even what is odd that can help you to learn if else but learning if else can be done other ways also for example if you see netflix if you are not a premium subscriber of netflix you see a different screen else you see a different screen so see every thing that you learn in programming can be done with an application which, which can be seen using a real life app already so we are going to always going to make sure that you get that and what's the price of the course so the price of the course for the one year validity of the course we are we have kept as 4200 and for two year validity of the course we have kept as 5500 
But if you will use the Algo Camp 500 coupon, you will get a straight flat 500 rupees off on the price. This uh, off is for limited time period and an early bird offer. So it's going to be off after some time. So do check it out. Make sure that you check out the algocamp.io website as soon as possible because we have launched a bunch of courses there that are going to be really helpful for you. Also, we are going to put a lot of interesting content on this particular channel as well. So make sure you don't forget to like this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel. So that's it for this particular video. We are going to meet soon in the next set of videos, guys. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I am Sanket Singh, signing off.